Join us right now. Be heading over to the islands in a couple of days as the Aztecs try to get back on the winning side of things. Sophomore running back Juwan Washington with us here on Exit 1360 Fox Sports San Diego. Juwan, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. How was uh how was practice today and all that wonderful weather? Oh, it's good. We're just out here trying to stay focused and keep the right attitude and uh, just take it day by day. Yeah, and you're a guy from Texas, so this type of weather, you just brush it off, right? Oh, yes, sir. It's, it's nothing compared to the summers in uh, high school, so you just take it day by day. Exactly, Juan. That's why you leave Texas and come to beautiful San Diego. I, I think a lot of Aztec fans listening right now, Juan, just want to sort of know – where this team is. I mean, you guys were sitting at 6-0, and everything's rolling along, and then back-to-back losses at home, and 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 it really hasn't looked too pretty. So what what's the mindset right now? Is this a team that's down on themselves, or are you guys ready for the big rebound in Hawaii? Oh, no, we're not down on ourselves at all. We're just trying to stay positive, you know, get better each, each day and take take the film from the last couple of weeks with a grain of salt and just get better each day. Juwan, when you, you do look at that film from the Fresno State game and you see where mistakes were made, and I, obviously you, you can only be concerned about what you know, you're know you doing on, on offense and what you're asked to do as, a, uh, as part of the offensive push, but as a whole, when you look at the mistakes that are made, is it stuff that I guess is correctable as far as the team's concerned? Uh, yes, everything that's been going on is, is really correctable. The thing is, it it's really just a couple of plays that we're away from just being in the game or even winning the game. So we just take that and uh, try to move forward and just fix it because really it's just a couple of big pay- plays that keep us in the game. So we just got to correct those plays and make them big plays for us instead of the other team and just go from there. Aztecs running back Juwan Washington joining us. Yeah, I mean, you, you start the game on that 16-play drive, Juwan, and, you know, the great Rashad Penny, he fumbled. I mean, fumbles happen. And it just seemed to take the air out of the out of the Aztecs. You know, when when things are going well, and you're one of the young players, great freshman year last year, Juwan, uh, how do you deal with a loss? I mean, you haven't had many as an Aztec, but what is your process in rebounding uh, from a disappointing loss? Uh, the thing about the loss is it kind of helps. It's, it's good and bad because no one wants to lose, but the only good thing about – when you do lose it, you know what to do to get better, and you don't want to feel that way anymore, and it just gives us more motivation to win the next time. So we're just really taking all that motivation, and we're going to go up to Hawaii and just play an even better game. Is it a good time for you guys to have to go out on the road, Juwan? Uh, yes, I think it is. We just we get away, and uh, we don't really have too many distractions. We can just really go focus out there. Like we say every week, it's, every time it's a away game, it's more of a business trip. So we're not really going out there to enjoy Hawaii. We're just going to take it how it is and uh, focus on the game. Had you ever been to Hawaii before? Last time I've been to Hawaii was the ball game. We played Cincinnati. Right. I was going to say, as a Texas kid, I mean, growing him in Texas, I mean, Hawaii, didn't that seem like a different world totally? Oh, yeah. It was it was fun the last time we went. I wasn't really playing too much, so I really got to enjoy it. But this time it's just like we said, a business trip. <laughs> Juwan, how have you benefited from being able to watch a guy like Danelle Pumphrey run the football and now watch a guy like Rashad Penny do it as well? Oh, I've benefited a lot. I could just, like I said uh, I, before, I would just go in and, and I watch how they run, and it really helps me. And then I, one thing I was uh, telling Penny, it really helps like in the games when when he goes in and I can just watch and see how the de- defense is reacting. So whenever he comes out, I can tell him, like, what the defense is doing when I go in. I've already watched a couple of drives, so it just helps me run the ball even more. And are you able to, you know, Rashad's a big dude, and you're more compact at 5'7", 200 pounds. Do you, does it cause a problem for defenses when they get you in there? Are you able to kind of hide behind that offensive line a little bit more? Oh, yeah, it helps a lot. I know a lot of times in practice, the defense tells me they can't even see me until I'm right <laughs> up on them. So by then, I, I've already thought about the move I'm going to make, and most of the time I can just – through the tiny hole that's in there. Joan, when you look at the history of this uh, running back position with the Aztecs going all the way back to the Marshall Falk days, I mean, the, the series of 1,000-yard rushers year after year. We shot out 1,000 yards last year when Pumphrey had 2,000 yards. Are you ready to take over when when it's your time to be the feature back? Oh, yeah. I, I feel like I'm ready, and our, and our O-line does a real good job of getting a push up there. And next year they'll be even more experienced. So it's just going to – 
I feel like it's going to be a good year for me. Just got to finish this year off strong, and we're going to do a good job of getting these last games in, and, and we're going to do a really good job this end of the season. Juwan, it was it, two great crowds the last two weeks out there at SDCCU Stadium. 49,000, you had 43,000 for Fez, uh, Fresno State this past Saturday. You still Are you feeling it, maybe from the fellow students or when you're out in the community, San Diego is still behind you guys and supporting you? Oh, yes, all the time. We have people when we're on the campus just going to class. They tell us good job and uh, stuff like that. Just keep it going. So it's, we can feel the love out here in San Diego. Well, Juwan, obviously, uh, we're expecting a win this week. I'm, I'm no pressure. Gonna, no pressure. I mean, <laughs> you know, after a couple of uh, disappointing losses, we love this Aztec team. We love Rocky Long. The guys that have joined us on the show, this is a quality program. Great student athletes. You're one of them, Juwan. So good luck. Have a good time in Hawaii. Not too much fun. Just focus on the football, and let's bring back a, back a W from the islands. All right, thank you. Thanks, right, Jawan. There he is, uh, Jawan Washington, the next great running back at San Diego State. He was, he was named co-freshman of the year, along with Parker Houston. The kid scores six touchdowns as a freshman. Yeah, when you have a 2,000-yard rusher <laughs> and a 1,000-yard rusher. Right. I mean, he had Pumphrey and Penny, so he's and get, he still scored six touchdowns. And he's getting his touches, and it really is somewhat of a conundrum for, for defenses. Anybody, Ernie ran into Rashad Penny out at the, the pumpkin patch, I think it was a couple days ago. Ernie came back and said, dude, that guy is big. Big. Rashad Penny is right now, he's ready for the NFL. He's NFL big, ready to go. Jawan. 5'7", 200 pounds, a little more of a compact package. But think about that. You're used to this big bruising running back who you can see. And then Juwan comes in, and Aztecs do have a mammoth offensive line. He just he hides, and then he's gone. 